Captain Reuben? Aye, the man himself. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? De Sardé, legate of the Merchant Congregation. And I'm sure you know my companion. Vasco! Oh, do not worry. The seahorse is in good hands. I'm sure, Reuben. What brings you here? The Admiral asked me to shed light on your little problem of indiscretion in your ranks. I see. I would be happy to answer any questions you have. You told the Admiral that you suspect one of your crew members. Indeed. The young apprentice sailor, Alba, a committed volunteer from Telemi. Uh, she only joined us a short time ago. Did you want to know anything else? The Admiral told me that you were the new captain of the ship we arrived on. The Seahorse? Yes. It's an excellent ship and a good crew. But you did the crossing. You know it as well as me. Did you want to know anything else? What led you to these suspicions? Well, the girl's behavior. She was very eager at first, very willing, almost too much. Then, suddenly, she became nervous. She isolated herself and did not speak to others. She's a recent recruit, which inevitably raised some doubts about her vocation. Sometimes I saw her hanging around my cabin. My papers were often disturbed. And since we've returned to port, she's almost never on board. Well, you can understand my concern, but you should probably talk to the other members of the crew. They may know something else. Ultimately, your strong suspicion stems from the fact that she's sea-given. A recent sea-given. She did not join us as a child, but you know how rare volunteers are, especially from Telemi. Did you want to know anything else? Do you know what information she may have sent? I don't know exactly what you know about our navigation methods. Let's say that magic does not have much to do with it. I see. Well, of course she knows that too. She saw some of our machines on board, and by searching through my papers, she could get even more sensitive information. And did you want to know anything else? The Admiral told me that you were the new captain of the ship. Listen, you did... did you? That'll be all, Captain. Thank you. Your Excellency, I am so pleased to see you again. The pleasure is shared. Captain! Good day, Jonas. What can I do for you? How have things been since you made it back? Very good. Everyone's been looking out for me extra careful, like. I do miss my parents from time to time, but I don't miss the warehouse. All the mercenaries. My real family is on the waves. Thanks for helping me to return to them. Anything else, Your Excellency? I would like you to tell me anything you can about a member of your crew. Alba. She joined our party recently. But I like her already. She works hard and is full of courage. You know, she is one of those rare knots that joined of her own volition. And she did everything she could to become one of our own. Until we arrived here, she suddenly became distraught and frightened. It brought back memories. Do you know where I could find her? I'd like to ask her some questions. N no. I've not seen her for a while. Maybe at the tavern? She was playing cards there from time to time. Anything else, Your Excellency? I'm afraid I need to be going. Watch out for yourself. Hey, happy to see you again. How have things been going for you since your crossing? Good, thank you. Even if I've quite a list of errands to check off. Then straight to it. What can I do for you? How have things been going for you since we landed? Well, it came as quite a shock to see you grounded, Captain. We truly wondered why. Alas, the Admiral's decisions are as mysterious as those of the Luminous Lauro. Impenetrable. That's true. 
But the crossing went so well, didn't it? And since Captain Rubin took the helm for you, well, he's not the talkative type. But then I'm not going to complain. We've been sailing the small rounds of late, keeping busy. We go from port to port around the island. It's peaceful. At least we're in port often. Anything else? I'm looking for a nought. A young woman going by the name of Alba. I know her. She joined our crew at the same time as our new captain. Did you try the tavern? Don't give me that look there. I've kept from the bottle since that story with Jonas, you know that. No matter. When we're at dock, there's nothing much else to do. It might be that little Alba went there to take a look. Anything else? I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. Captain, delighted to see you again. We've missed you. Your Excellency, it's a pleasure. What can I do for you? We have a few questions to ask you, Flavia. I'm all yours, Captain. Can you tell me anything about Alba? Oh, I don't know her very well. She only joined our crew recently. But she pulls her weight. You can't hold that against her. You might say she shows a little too much zeal even, at times. That being said, ever since we got here, I found her a little... distraught. You could even say nervous. Would you know where I could find her? No. I wouldn't. Where's she missed roll call? Well, I hope she didn't do something stupid. These committed volunteers, we never know if we can trust them. Anything else? I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. I'm afraid these little secrets have not helped us a great deal. This Alba had just enlisted. She was happy, then changed her attitude. But is she a spy? We were told that she was sometimes at the tavern. We should take a look there. I will not! Come on, gentlemen. Please calm down. Who are you to give us orders? That's true. You want to see how tough oh, You don't know who you're messing with. My child, I doubt that your job as legate involves managing fights between drunkards. You'd better get out of here. Unless you want to end up in jail. Ooh! She thinks we'll allow that to happen! On guard, sir! <coughs> On guard! Maybe unless you protect me in this battle! <coughs> put a bit of poison on my brain! And let's go! <coughs> <coughs> What can I pour for you? I'm looking for a young nought. She goes by the name of Alba and sails on Captain Rubin's ship. I wouldn't know who that is. Why don't you go and ask that fellow over there? He often shares a bottle with the sailors. He might remember your nought. 
Anything else? Nothing, thanks. I'm not thirsty just yet. Hello, Your Excellency. Hey, look at that! <laughs> the upper crust coming to slum it at the tavern. How may I help you? We're looking for a young nought. She's part of Captain Rubin's crew. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. A girl who loses her pay with style. <laughs> but I don't know where she is. She looked sad last time I saw her. Didn't have her head in the game. We're looking for a young... Yeah. Well, I... Have you ever heard her talk about secrets or documents she'd like to exchange? Are you asking me if she's a spy? <laughs> no idea she told me nothing. But if that's why you're looking for her, I may have seen things that might interest you. I'm often mistaken for a drunkard, so they pay no attention to me. But I see everything. Tell me what you saw. I'd like to tell you all that, but... <coughs> my throat's a little dry, my friend. This should quench your thirst. So, what did you see? Well, returning late at night, I spotted a guy I'd seen before at the tavern. He often spent time with the nought, and he was in the street, fiddling with a stone, looking suspicious. So, I took a closer look when he left. I thought he'd stashed money or something. But no. There was a box under the stone, but there was no gold inside, just papers. They were messages, and from the look of the guy, they couldn't be love letters. <laughs> now, I don't know how to read, so I couldn't understand what it was about, but maybe those were your secrets? Where is this hiding place? Cross the bridge at the exit of the town. On the left, look for the stone. The box is underneath. Thank you, soldier. My pleasure, friend. Do you want to know anything else? That'll be all, soldier. Thank you. This stone must be the one the soldier told us about. Look, it hides a box. It's a dead drop. It's suspicious, but it doesn't reveal any secrets or who uses it. Well then, we'll have to catch whoever uses it red-handed. Oh, I'm a little old for hiding in the bushes, but if that's what you want to do... Perfect. We have a great view of the box from here. Shall we wait here? That's it. Suspect in sight.
He's only a messenger. We should follow him. gentlemen what are you plotting fool they followed us i thought i was careful i'm the legate of the merchant congregation and you have been caught plotting treason so i suggest you talk what do these messages contain and what are they about you're wasting your time i i, I won't say a word do you realize that you were suspected of espionage and conspiracy don't you think you'd better explain yourself wait I, I don't want to end up in jail. It, it's not about the secrets of the congregation. Uh, let me explain. Some time ago, it was rumored that the secrets of the Norts were for sale. Oh, my country was interested. So I, I started exchanging messages, as you've been doing. The Nort who was willing to give up these secrets demanded a fortune. He also wanted to become a citizen. But we were only at the negotiation stage. For the moment, uh, I have received nothing concrete. Just promises. Who is the Nort you're talking to? Oh, I've no idea. The messages were signed White Rose. But I doubt it's a real name. Very well. You seem to be telling the truth. Alba means white, Desarde. But it's a little unsubstantial. And give me the message in your possession before leaving. Very well. Here it is. Now, if you'll allow me... Uh... I, I will leave the town. Your Excellency. So, what did you discover? There is indeed a spy among the Norts, but the spy's identity remains to be proven. Take this. I recovered this note which seems to suggest that your secrets have been offered to several buyers. The Alliance citizen we met did not win the bid. I knew it. My logbook has just been stolen, and of course Alba is missing. Do we really still need proof? This book must be found at all costs before Alba sells it. Your Excellency, can we count on you once more? I would like to help you, but this island is vast. How can I possibly hope to find it? Alba is from Teleme. She probably took refuge in San Mateus. This reduces the search area a little. What do you say, Your Excellency? This is a trail that deserves to be followed. I will keep you updated, Admiral. <laughs> 